Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Man 64. I'm at Samaru Tsubaki and this is episode 3. Alright, so in the last episode we've seen the ultimate dance and in this episode we're gonna have to take on some pirates. Gosh darn, pirates. But not before we kick this can because kicking the can makes us money. And making us money is what powers us up. And powering us up means we win better. So I just gotta get this can into here. I'm not sure how many times you can do it, but who cares? So let's get that in there. Nice shot. 1,000 zenny. So my goal is to leave and come back and do that a couple more times. Because then we can buy some nice power-ups to make the next part of our adventure slightly more adventurous. More fun adventurosity, I suppose is always a good thing when you're playing a video game because then you can have more fun. And more fun means you make more money in the video game. Get out of my way. You remind me of the guy from Majora's Mask that's like, the moon's not gonna fall. Let's get this up there. Oh, dear. This can. Get away from me. Oh, dear. I don't know if we can get this can. What's in here? It's a box. Is there anything inside? There's a refractor. You found 100 zenny. I don't even care. There's a thousand zenny on the roof. Darn it. I can't get it. We're just gonna go into the junk shop and we're gonna look and see what kind of purchases we can make. So we can have repairs damage. Well, we can get an energy canteen. And we can get some life gauges. There we go. Can't afford that. Not yet. Let's see what we got for parts. Um, energy one, range one. How about... Range booster is important. And... Let's see. We got power range... Power... Not power razor. Or... We can increase the range even farther, or we can go faster. What's more important though? More damage or more speed? I'd go as far to say as I want that, because you'll see. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put range booster on, and then I'm going to put on this. Now I'm not going to do as much damage. But I'm going to go a lot farther with my shots. What are you guys doing in here? You just hang out in here all day? Friggin' you. Okay, so if I can get the can in there two more times, I could actually increase my life gauge again. And this early in the game, being able to increase my life that much is highly beneficial. Um, it will, it'll make it death a lot less likely, which I mean, in the long run, more entertainment for my fellow viewers. Ah. But until then, 1,000 zenny. Oh yeah. So, if I can do this a couple more times, I can get the next life gauge, and the canteen is like an E-tank, pretty much. Um, I think... You had the. I don't remember exactly, but it's right here. You have to refill it afterwards. Man, I love this game. Um, I think the episodes are gonna get a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. I think I'm gonna make them 20 minutes now. Because I feel like 15 is just a little bit not enough. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Do you guys prefer 15 minute or 20 minute episodes? This makes it so I can play a little bit longer before taking a break. Because I have to let it, like, save every 20 minutes, which means I only can play for, like, 15 minutes at a time. Then I have to wait, like, an hour. It's terrible. Get in there. No. Why am I doing so bad at this? Like, in the first episode, I was doing so good. And they're all like, this guy's good at kicking the can. I should have stopped while I was ahead. Oh, well, I had everybody impressed. Alright, I think I got this. 
Here we go. Now I'm gonna flick it this way. Did it go in? Oh, now it is. Dude, it's like such an easy way to get money. But I'm pretty sure it stops working after a while. Alright, so I'm gonna buy item life gauge. Do they have any more? Holy crap, a $10,000 one? What is this? There. Look at my life. It's freaking fantastic. It's like so full. Now these guys, you can't sneak up on them unless you walk or they just like say things. Whisper, whisper. That girl looks suspicious, I tell you. Whisper, whisper. She has to be a pirate. See, she said she was looking for treasure. Whisper. No one believes us. We're gonna have to get her ourselves. Hey, someone's spying on us. Oh, it's that blue guy again. Ha. Huh. Come on, everybody. Let's go. They were whispering, so I was whispering. And now I can get through the gate. Let's see. It's a garbage pail. Anything inside? There's a refractor. Yay. Eh. So we're gonna go in here and see what's going on now. Oh. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Great! We understand. Do you need to keep your costs and risks? As low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at? Huh. She vanished. Hey, what's that? Ah. Uh, ow. That's like the most aggressive driver I've ever seen. Like, I was like, hi, and he's like, brr. I love how later on you can go into a lot of these buildings. Oh, you can still go into this one. I just, one of these little things I love about this game. This is the library. We won't let the pirates close us down. I used to always talk to all the characters all the time. Like they were real people. If the pirates blow up the library, that means the teachers can't make us read any more books. Ha 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 ha. You're funny. I'm surprised that has anything to do with anything. I heard about the pirates coming, so I came to look up everything I can about pirates. Besides on what I read so far, it seems like pirates aren't a nice bunch of people, are they? No, you needed to read a book to know that? It's a book called Introduction to Digging. I remember reading this a long time ago. Remember to improve as much as you can. Make sure you have the right tools for the job. You can choose to improve your weapon's firepower, rate of fire range, as well as reloading speed. It's also important to think about which of the special weapons to upgrade. And when? Hmm, sounds like good advice. That's kind of funny considering that everybody has a Mega Buster. I figured that after being evacuated, I'll have a lot of time on my hands, so I came to get something to read. Yeah, you're gonna die, by the way. Um, I'm gonna go out here now. <sighs> Such a nice town. But I'm getting out of here. Hi, officer. I don't look when I cross the street. We just gotta find the mayor and... Hey, it's Tron again. Huh? What do you want? You've been following me around all day, haven't you? Sorry, but I don't have time to play with you. Just stay out of my way, okay? Alright, Tron. I'll leave you alone for now, until I have to save your life, so that you can try to take others' lives, because that's just how you roll. Get it? <laughs> roll. Why aren't you laughing? It was hilarious. Looks different than the ones in the downtown area. Oh, it does. It looks kind of like a Pokemon thing. Hello, officer. 
Professor Beryl, yes, he's here. He's in a meeting with the mayor. Please wait one minute. Where are you going? He's going inside. Why did you make my friend leave his post? I hope he's coming back now. Thank you for waiting. Go on in. Hey, Mega Man! Come to check up on me, eh? Here, let me introduce you to the mayor of this island, Amelia. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrow. I worked as his assistant for a while, while I was in school. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll bet anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure, but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it, Professor. I've been in the digging business a long time, but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? You're basically telling me to go away so you guys can have some privacy. I completely understand. And me and Roller are just going to go hang out. Hmm. This lady again. Ah! This is my store, bitch. Wow. I need to stop swearing. I feel bad now. You're out of town, aren't you? Aren't you a digger? Don't worry. Everyone here is very friendly. You may not know your way around yet, but... You'll find that you'll get along just fine. Please just remember to observe the law, and you won't have any problems. Hey all, everything funny to say involves swearing, but I'm, try I'm trying to stay kind of classy. But then, like, I think it's something that I want to say, so I just say it, and I'm like, I shouldn't have said that. Alright, what is this guy? We are currently hander hand handering an <laughs> evacuation application. What? What? Okay. Listen to this guy. We are currently handling evacuation applications. You have to fill out an application to evacuate from invasion. Uh, so there's like a nuclear bomb going off, you have to fill out paperwork. Ah, it's a dog! <laughs> it's a dog. It's a plane. Hey, Trot. Oh. Interesting fun fact coming up in a momentary's time, and I will tell you when it comes about the difference between the American and Japanese version. And first off on our list, we'll talk to these three tards talking to the cops from about 20 feet away. Let's see what they have to say. But it's true, officer. My paprika found a suspicious looking girl. She must be a pirate. You don't believe us, do you? No. She's come here to check things out, I'm sure of it. Are you friends with these kids? Haven't I told you that all you have to evacuate? Sorry, I'm still filling out the proper paperwork. I'm gonna name the episode Evacuation Application, by the way. That girl's a pirate? Right. Didn't your mothers ever tell you not to lie? Oh, kids, and you're lying. Nasty, terrible lies. <sighs> okay, so this is how you would deal with this in the Japanese version. In the Japanese version, I'm like 99% sure. I think I've seen the cutscene. You kick the dog. But in the other versions of the game, they changed it to add this cutscene right here. Ordinarily, you would kick the dog, but they changed it because it's animal abuse. What are you at? <laughs> okay, so now I gotta try to 
get the dog to go away, so. Hey, cut it out! Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? Hey, hold on. Down, boy. Down. No, oh, we got a BA up in here. Are you all right? Oh, oh she's all like, oh. She's all blushy. You, what about me? You just mind your own business. Okay. She's running away now. She's embarrassed or flattered or something of the sort. Mega Band's like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, anyways, now to continue on my journey to talk to Roll, but not that way. It's this way. Walking diagonally. This way I want to go. Let me in. Yep, it's this way. We're back here. Let's just do the can while we're here. I like the free money. I'm not gonna do it ten times though, you know. Actually, I'm probably just gonna do it until it like, you know, either doesn't work out. But I like the money. Now what you wanna really do is you wanna just, there we go. That's too bad. Oh, look, Mega Man's armor got darker. Because apparently I'm becoming a criminal very slowly. So now I'm, I'm darker. Isn't that, like, really cool? But, like, if I do it again, which I think I'm going to do just for the, um, sole purpose. Closed. Why are you closed? That's not fun. I'll go in here. They weren't closed earlier. Oh, they evacuated. Weird. Let me in. This is probably great for your business. Cause, yeah. But, I wanna see, uh, Mega Man continues to... That's a phone. Anyways, Mega Man continues to get darker every time you do it. Um, I promise I'm not gonna do this a lot. Like, I'm pretty much after, like, I get done, like, with this part of the game, I'm never gonna do it again. Except for randomly. I just really like the free money. Nice shot! Bonus, 1,000 zenny. That's too bad. I don't know if I get darker yet, but... It's so, it's so cool. Like, I feel way cooler when I'm dark. Um, I got, like, two minutes to buzz through. Because, um, the next part is when I start fighting... Things. Like, bosses. So I'm just like, why do I just not wait? I'm, but I don't want to do it ten more times. I don't have enough money. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go on to the next area then. I'd have to do it like eight more times, and I'm not going to do that. That's just kind of obnoxious. For the viewers. Oh, hi, Roll. I don't know if I want to talk to you yet. I will. Where's Gramp? What? He's talking with the mayor at City Hall? I hope he'll be okay. By the way, did you see those weird-looking ships that just flew past here? I've never seen ones like that before. I wonder who they are. There! There goes one! No, there is two. Pirate. Huh? That oh, that's gunfire. Oh no, they're attacking the city. Gramps is still in Yeah, he is. You better run after him. Let's run into the I'm fire. Sure no, right. I was kidding. Come 
Back roll. Don't go. I need you to upgrade my buster. Darn it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next episode. Remember to rate.